Hello. Hi, this is Kevin from the front desk. Yes. Um, we're having some problems with your room. It looks like we're going to have to move you to a different room tonight. No, you're not. And uh, I'm sorry, we don't usually do this this late at night. I'm really sorry about the call, but... Yeah, we've Why do you have to room me? I, I'm, I'm sleeping. There's nothing wrong with my room. Well, we've got a celebrity coming in, and uh, they specifically asked for your room number. They, oh, they always... come on now. It's the middle of the night now. Yeah, I'm really sorry. We can comp you for a night if if you'd like, and you'll get a free free stay for the night. But we just need to move you up to the third floor. Oh, come on. Who's this celebrity? It's uh, Carrot Top. Oh, God. I'm really sorry. I'm... Honey, I'm, a, I'm sleeping. It's the middle of the night. Why would they ask for my room? They, this is just the room that he always gets when he comes to this hotel, and he comes here a lot to do shows. And uh, we can comp you for a night, though. We can give you a free stay. So it's kind of be worth oh the free Oh, my st- God. It's kind of be worth a free stay, though, you know, just to come down here, and we can uh, have you re-register, and we'll put you up on the third floor. Oh. Right now... Yeah, I'm, I'm, we we seriously we don't do this very often. I'm really sorry to call so late at night. We can yeah, use, I would think so. It's the middle of the night. I'm sound asleep. Yeah, we can give you a free ticket to a show and everything. No, I don't care about a show. I mean, I know who it is. Yeah, Carrot Top. Mm-hmm. I know who it is. No, I don't need a ticket to a show. That's for sure. Okay, but well, we can give you a free night though. What is your name? This is Kevin from the front desk. Kevin. Uh, Oh, God. And so what's going to happen now? I mean... We'll just have you re-register and, and put you on the third floor. It'll actually be a nicer room. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll, I'll go ahead and take the charge off your card and everything. And he's he's actually down here right now. You can meet him if you'd like. No, I don't care. Okay. I, I won't tell him that, though. I meeting him. What? I won't tell him that, though. No, I mean... So how much time... I... Oh, it'll this only is take really a, disturbing. It'll only take a minute, ma'am. We, we can do this as quickly as possible. And I really don't want to do this. My room is, you know... No, I'm, I'm really sorry about this. We this, the, the celebrities have priority over, you know, regular people. Oh, like, bullshit with celebrities. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care if it's Frank Sinatra, you know. Mm-hmm. They're no better than you or I, believe me. Believe me. He wants two twenty two thirty eight he wants that room. Yeah, that's just the that's always the one. He has been coming here for years and that's the room he gets. So would it be possible for you to come down then? Um we'll, we'll take Pardon care me? of this. Would it be possible for you to come on down and we'll we'll uh, get this? I'm not show. coming downstairs, believe me. I'm in my night chair, I'm sleeping, my room is a mess. It's going to take me 15 minutes to get myself changed. I mean, to get myself together to get out of here. Mm-hmm. Well, it's, just, it's a free room, though. We can give you one free room for the night. <sighs> Carrot Top would really appreciate this. Why didn't? Why wasn't I told of this when I moved here? When I got here, we weren't expecting him tonight. It, it just kind of showed up, and. Um, Usually he reserves the rooms in advance, and we're able to get that room for him easily. But yeah, but you know it's kind of an, an unexpected visit. If you don't come down here, and uh, I'm not coming downstairs, believe me. Okay, well, could we send someone up, and they'll help you move, and we'll just have you. Please go. do that. Okay. Well, Please can, send someone because I'm not coming down. Maybe I can send Kara guarantee. top up, and he'll help you move. What? Maybe I can send Carrot Top up and he'll help you. Don't send him. Don't send him, no. I don't care about him. I mean, I don't care about that. Okay. Well, we'll do this for you, and then we we can go ahead and take care of the registration tomorrow. I am not coming downstairs, believe me. Okay, that's fine. We'll we'll go ahead and... Now you've got to have someone come in and clean the room. Yeah, we'll we'll do that quickly before he gets in there. You know, I do not... I, 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 I find this appalling. I absolutely find this appalling. I was hoping you'd appreciate the free free one night stay for for the trouble. I mean, it, who are you going to send up here? Who who I'll, are you? Send? I'll send the other front desk guy up to take care of it. I, I won't let Kara top in your room until you're out. I would hope not. You're sending this guy up here. 
Okay. Oh, well, um, would you like me to go on and send someone up for you? <laughs> I just... Is this for sure? I Is this real? No, it's a fucking prank. <laughs> Don't you feel like an idiot? What? <laughs> no, I'm at the front desk for real. We're just messing with the customers. I'm sorry, man. We, we do this just to pass the time. It's really slow at night, and I'm, I do apologize. Is this a joke? I just explained to you that it was. <laughs> Snowplow show. Snowplow show. <laughs> Roger Bell, what a strange dude. Slept on my lawn last night, said he rolled through some dog poo. This happens all the time There's no prank too big No prank too small If you ever get that call Roger Bell Just enjoy Roger Bell The retarded boy He's going to take your phone spot And give it to fucking Carrot Top Roger Bell With all these calls Roger Bell You're shitting on my balls I can't go Connect the manager to you Cause he's on break Taking a giant poo Roger Bell Snowplow Show Roger Bell From the Snowplow Show Snowplow Show Thank you Joe to be, I mean uh, TK Billington For that intro song Hello everybody You're listening to the Snowplow Show And I am your host Brad This show is brought to you by Mr. Lonely Goat The Prime Minister of Australia Lord and Lady of Veggies Woozy And Cactus Mike they all support us on patreon.com slash phone losers. There's going to be a 2023 prank call meetup this year. It's kind of in Chicago, just outside of Chicago. I forget which city, but you can find out about it by going to vcfmw.org. That's the Vintage Computer Fair of the Midwest.org. Wasted Memory and Dragon Mirror are being cheapskates and just piggybacking off of their convention to hold our convention. It's the perfect crime, and you can participate in it on September 9th and 10th. One more thing about the vinyl record. It was supposed to be here today, but it didn't arrive. But there was a weird incident with the address, so I'm waiting to hear back from them. But the vinyl albums are around me somewhere. In a warehouse, probably. I don't know. They need to bring them over here. Hopefully, they'll be here tomorrow. But I'm waiting on the Kickstarter to send out the survey forms that has your address and everything on them. I'm waiting on that until I actually get the vinyl records. Because I'm just waiting for something to happen, you know. There's going to be a warehouse fire or something. They all get destroyed. But they are closer than ever. And a few people have emailed me, very concerned that they're not going to get a PLA vinyl record. Don't worry, you're going to get a PLA vinyl record. I ordered way too many of these things. They're going to last forever, and I'm going to be begging all of you for years to come to buy this vinyl album. So don't worry, everybody. There's vinyl for everybody, and it's happening really, really soon. On today's show, we are listening to yesterday's show. I did a live show kind of late last night, which was Tuesday, June 6th. And I think I was on for about two hours, but then I edited the live show today and there's only 30 minutes in there. But I did play a lot of music and there was a lot of phones ringing over that two hours that just were not picking up. So remember, for everyone that you hear pick up in today's show, there were five or ten that didn't pick up. And we all just sat there listening to ringing phones all night. You guys should join us for a live show. It's kind of fun. If you want to be notified of my live shows, you can sign up at prankcast.com slash phone losers. Here's the live show from last night. I thought it'd be a fun night to call my, uh, um, some hotel rooms. Because, uh, the other day, or I mean last week, I found... I found two more of them that, uh, allow direct dialing. So, I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna direct dial some hotels. Thank you for calling Woodspring Suites. If you know the room number of the guest, you're... Hey, everybody. Thanks for showing up. Even though some of you didn't have a choice, you were raided over by... Gordo and dog lettuce. I know we'll get somebody to pick up. Thank you for calling Wood Spring Suites. If you know the room number of the guest. Hello? Hi there, this is uh, Tim from the front desk. Sir. What's going on, Tim? Oh, uh, not much. What are you doing in there? Anything Anything suspicious? Well, yeah, I was trying to tell you and you're interrupting and asking how I'm doing and stuff. Tim, you need to stop playing on the phone. 
and prank calling our guests. Because we can tell when it's you making the phone call, okay? So can you just Who's, knock that off, please? This is not Tim. You're not Tim? I'm Tim. What are you talking about, I'm not Tim? Oh. Sir! Can you hear me? Mm-hmm. Well, that was just confusing. What does he mean, I'm not Tim? That doesn't make sense. Well, yay, we got a hold of somebody. Room 125. If any of you have any ideas of what I should say to a customer, feel free to post it. I'll try to do it. I could tell them that a guest found their car keys and took their car for a drive to McDonald's. Ask them why, Dr. Slow wants me to do. Okay, I'll just do that. Why? You know how hotel rooms are just pitch black at night because they always have those blackout curtains. And then uh, they have this phone ringing right now in the middle of the night. And they're, they're freaking out. They're like, where's that coming from? Tripping over everything. Hello. Hey there, uh, this is Kenny from the front desk. Uh-huh. And where are you sleeping? So sorry to call this late. What's your name? Uh, a guest found your car keys, and they took your car to McDonald's. And then they came back. Uh, not me, I don't. I don't have a car here. Okay, yeah, that part was that was a test. And you passed the test. Sir, have you been smoking marijuana in your room? Who is this really? This is Kenny from the front desk. Yeah, so who whose name do you think you have on that on that roster? On a roster? What is this, the eighteen hundreds? What are you talking about roster? Are you at the front desk now? I'm gonna come up there. Yeah, oh yeah, if you want to, go ahead. I'm I'm right here. All right. But but sir, just leave the marijuana. I don't know. Uh, like, who, who had the idea about the sheets? I have to get their sheets. I need to flush your dad's ashes down the toilet. Because that was his favorite room. That was his last request. <laughs> what? I knew he wouldn't have a car. That was a dumb idea. Who has a car when they're at a hotel? Uh, Yes. Hey, this is Dave from the front desk. Yes. Sir, have you um, had any unusual activity in there tonight? In the front desk? No, no, just, uh, wait, is this the front desk? Oh, no, sorry. You... Um, this is room uh, 123. Okay, yeah, that's what I was trying to reach. Thank goodness. Oh, yes. Uh, some of the rooms around you have reported... Um, the, the people that were here last night, they held a seance, and they accidentally left behind the spirit of their dead child. So it's been going from room to room, you know, this little glowing dead child, uh, you know, just causing problems. Uh, and have no, you... I have not seen any of that. Okay. Uh, are you going to be able to sleep now? Uh, I'm not sure. Have you heard, like, the sound of children's laughter or soft whispering or we don't have any of that okay well just don't be concerned because remember the ghost child cannot harm you she can only terrorize you okay huh. well yeah but if you stay up though you might see her like she's just kind of going from room to room at this point even though the seance was in in your room i don't know why she's not back there Maybe uh, yeah, no. Were you sleeping right. when I called? Yeah. You were sleeping? Sir. Don't do it. Okay. I did Gordo's idea. I did it, Gordo. Are you happy? That guy won't be sleeping tonight. You are being transferred to a guest. I could do a survey. Mr. Pennis, like, what you doing? We forgot to ask. Oh. Hello. Hello. This this is Gary from the front desk. Uh huh. Is there a was there a Bible in one of your drawers in there? No, this is not the time to ask that question. This is not the what? This is not the time to ask that question. Oh no, I need to know because we have this lazy 
maid. Uh, her name's Rachel, and she hasn't been making sure that the Bibles. No man, are in- I don't. I don't know, man. This is listen, too late. To listen have that listen here, man. you son of a bitch. You need to <laughs> open those drawers. Darn it! Is that one worth a callback? Hello. Hey, uh, we got disconnected somehow. I'm so sorry about that. Uh, no, man, I I don't want to talk right now. This is one o'clock in the morning. Okay. Come on, man. But listen, I really need you to check for that Bible. <laughs> Shit. Oh well. You are being transferred to a guest. Oh, is- Hello. Hello. This is Gary. From the front front desk. Totally not having a coughing fit. Hello? Well, that's weird. I heard someone pick up. Shit. You are being transferred to a guest. Hello? Hi, ma'am. This is Gary from the front desk. Yes? I'm so sorry. We're going to have to switch rooms. You're going to need to switch with some... Uh, we've got somebody coming in that needs your room, so we're going to have to switch you over to a different room. Uh, it's the middle of the night. I know, but it still has the queen beds. It's got the same, <sighs> it's basically the same room. We just have, have a celebrity coming in. It's John Stamos. You've got to be kidding me right now. No, and this is his favorite room. And when he comes in into town, this is just what he gets and... We, uh, you know, we got word that he's on, he's going to be here in about five minutes. Okay, I and think, uh... It, you okay. can meet him, you can meet him, we'll let you meet him. Like, that's a perk of you're getting... You're not, jo- you're, it's one in the morning, you're not joking? Oh, no, I wouldn't kid about this man, it's John, John Stamos. Okay. He's very important All around right. here. Okay, thank you. So, we're just going to have to ask you to pack up your bags and uh, get ready to go. You're going to go down a different floor. Okay. And uh, John Stamos right. is going to come in and help you. He's going to help you pack. Uh, I don't know about that. But, I see him uh, walking down the hall right now. You, you know who? You, you know who? Oh, Aw. That was fun. Too small. I really ought to bring my own from home. I don't think she's going to do it now, though. Yeah, yeah, Barry. Calm down. Thank you. Thank you for calling the Town Place Suites of the Marriott. This is Tyler. How can I help you? Hey, Tyler. Hey, what's up? Ah, uh, not much. I didn't mean to call up here, though. It was an accident. Uh, oh, okay. Um, Oop- alrighty. Oopsie, um, oopsie. Let's just pretend this little incident never happened, okay? Alrighty. Well, you have a good one then, okay? I won't say nothing. <laughs> okay, well, right. I'll, I'll talk to you later then. I love Bye-bye. you. Bye. Okay, that was... How did that happen? Did I... Did I fall asleep again? I think I fell asleep again. Yes. Yeah. Hey. Is this, uh, 210? Yeah. Sir, I'm so sorry. This is the front desk. We're gonna have to ask you to move rooms. Uh, you know, we just got kind of a room shortage tonight. There's a family that's going to come in and stay in your room. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't quite understand. You need to uh, to see the room? Yeah. The room? Yeah, you're going to have to wake up, sir. You're going to have to wake up and get all your your, your stuff together. We got to move you to a different room. Uh, we're going to be, you're going to be doing a room sharing thing tonight. Uh, you're going to be staying with a lady named Mrs. Stuman. But it's okay, because you're going to be in separate beds. Sir. Okay. What what time right now? Uh, yes, immediately. I'm going to have to have you <clears throat> report up to Mrs. Steuben's room. She's down the hall in room 217. Okay. And, and she's just, she's going to, you know, give up one of her, her spare bed in there for you. But, you know, just no funny business, right? Okay, so um, so this is a, a different room. I think uh, I think Mazda called you or something. Who called you? Who called us? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm trying to to understand why you're you're changing me. 
Oh, it's just it's just that um we ran out of rooms. There's a family coming in and they're gonna stay in your room. And you're you're gonna stay in Mrs. Steuben's room. Well, not another room, uh, my bed, uh, and that's, uh, it's okay. Yeah, you'll have your own bed, but you'll be sharing the room with Mrs. Steuben. It's fine. She's okay with it. Okay. It's it's yeah. it's like Airbnb. It's like room sharing. Yeah. That's how they work. Okay, so I have to get my things right now. Yeah. Were you sleep? Were you sleeping when I called? Lauren? Were you sleeping when I called? Yeah. What were you dreaming about? Okay, so... Um, I just like to ask yeah. people that when I wake them up. That's all. Sorry? I just like to ask people that when I wake them up. What were you dreaming about? Uh, so I was... What? Sorry, I didn't get that. Like, what kind of dreams were you having when I when the phone rang? dreams or something? Yeah, are you getting out of bed? Uh, you don't need to be falling back asleep, sir. Okay. So you, you need to get over to Mrs. Steumann's and you two need to decide what you're going to set the air conditioner to tonight. Okay. So then, let me go my things then. Okay. And then where are you going to go? 217. Yes. Yes, and uh, I'll... I'll send that family right over, so they might start moving in, in before you, okay. uh, you know, before you get out. Okay, let me gather my things. Yeah. All right, and, and don't be mad. No, no, it's, it's, it's okay. I just, um, just leave. Uh, and sir, don't okay. forget about about our continental breakfast in the morning. Okay. Sorry. Don't forget about our continental breakfast in the morning. Okay. Yeah. And, um, can you put on chapstick? Sorry? Mrs. Tooman has a thing about chapstick. Can you, can you put on some chapstick? Um, I, I like? Yeah, chapstick. Cherry chapstick. Cherry chapstick? I don't, I don't, I don't think I Sir, I know. Sir, the, the, here's the thing. I'm a part of your dream. You're dreaming again. And I'm in your dream with you. No, I'm, I'm not dreaming. I am, I am, I'm okay, but okay. I don't quite understand. Okay, just, um, can you make sure you bring your trash with you? Trash, take the trash. Yeah, do you have any, any trash in there? Yeah, I, I have a couple things, yeah. Yeah, maybe, you know, you don't want to leave that there for a family, come on. Okay, let me gather my stuff there. And yeah. make your bed. Yeah. All right, thank you, sir. So you. sorry about this. So sorry about the yeah, mix-up. Okay. But you know, you. it's a nice family. And you get to be friends with Mrs. Steumann. Okay, yeah, thank you. All right, have a nice night. Sir? Yeah? Does anything about this call seem... N never Sorry? mind. No, for, forget I said anything. Forget I said anything. Let's just hang up. What's my, my, my what? Sorry? Oh, uh, I just, I think, I think we should hang up, and I will apply the discount to your room, since you're doing the uh, shared room with Mrs. Tooman. Something, somebody's coming? Oh, yes, yeah, you should probably uh, get packed up. So help me pack. I can't help you pack. I'm at the front desk. The, I, I said, I, uh, so, sorry, I didn't catch the the, the, the last one. Uh, who's who's coming or something? John Stamos. Yeah, I, huh? John Stamos. It's John Stamos John, and his family. Oh yeah, yeah. I I I understand that that some somebody that some family is coming. But I didn't catch the last, the last one. Uh, and I, I, I know, I know that I have to, to, to pack my things right now and the trash or something. Yeah, but, yeah. Um, well, forget the trash part. 
Yeah, okay. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, don't forget your room key. Make sure that room key is in your pocket. You don't want to lose that. Okay, yeah, the room key, yeah. Uh, I'm going to make the room key work at Mrs. Tuman's now. You know, like uh, okay. right now. But yeah. yeah. Yeah, make sure you keep that room key. Yeah, okay. Thank you. All right. Um, sir, uh, thank you for s- staying with uh, Marriott. Marriott? Yeah, I'm in Marriott. Yeah, yeah, I'm just saying thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. All right, I got to go. Okay. I have, yeah, to, I have to go now, okay? Yeah. I'm going to hang up the phone. Could you hang up the yeah. phone, please? Okay. I don't know how to hang it up from this end. Whoa. That was a, that was a little loud. Kind of a loud hang up. What the hell? So, yeah, I pretty much feel uh, horrible about that one. But whatever, you know, he's going to sleep good after after this. Maybe. No, maybe he won't sleep at all. Hello? Hey there. Uh, this is Gary from the front desk. Uh-huh. Sir, were you, were you just using the bathroom? Yes. You are being a little... No- <coughs> I'm sorry. I have this horrible cough. Because I've been smoking weed behind the the desk down here. Sir, you're being really noisy when you poop, okay? In the bathroom? Just in the bathroom and in general? Can you just maybe, uh, you know, knock it off and keep it down in there? Noisy in the bathroom? Yeah, yeah, you're like grunting and just like pooping loudly and these walls are what? thin, especially around the bathroom area. That's the thinnest part of the walls, weirdly Okey enough. Okie dokie. So you just need to keep it down. I'm sorry about the cough, you guys. Other guests can hear the splashing. All right, that was... Wow, both of the numbers on the second floor I've tried, they've both picked up. And it's like one thirty there right now, I think. Hello? Yeah. Hey, this is Steve Dave from the front desk. Yep. Sir, you cannot be smoking in there. I know it's just marijuana, but you can't be smoking in there. It's against the rules. Are Are you talking to me right now? Oh yeah, I'm talking to you. You need to, to put out. Oh no, you you were wide awake when you picked up that phone. I could tell, cause you're on the marijuana. What the fuck are you doing, sir? Sir. Sir? Hello? Hey, hey, buddy. Hey. <laughs> you hung up wrong. <laughs> that was fun. Hello. Hey there, this is uh, Gary from the front desk. Yes. Sir, are, are you awake? Were you awake already? Uh, no. Do you think you could come down here? Uh, yeah. Just for a little bit? Just for a little bit? Yeah, you know, just for 20 minutes, maybe? Okay. Sir, um, I, I'm not trying to be weird or anything, but I, I saw a ghost tonight. And I'm down here in the front desk by myself. And I'm kind of freaking out a little bit, and I could just, it'd be really nice if you'd come down and just talk to me. Uh, okay. And I'm lonely, too, to be honest. Okay. Would you be able to do that? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. 
And I've called some other people too, so we might just be doing like a group thing, like a group hug, group, uh, you know, just stand by each other and protect each other. We might do some group prayers. <laughs> okay. But, you know, I just, um, also, it'd be nice if I made a friend too. All right, fair enough. Okay, well, I'll, I'll see you in a minute. Don't worry. Right. Don't worry about what you're wearing. It's okay. <laughs> okay. All right. I'll see you soon. All right. I love you, mom. Ooh, crazy people. That was loud. Oh, by the way, that was Mr. Penis's idea. Uh, say it's lonely at the front desk and to come down and hang out. I had to add the thing about ghosts in there. Uh, Craig's mom's bush wants me to make sure they're sitting down. Hello? Hey, uh, this is Dave from the front desk. Yeah? Are, were you, are you watching TV? Yeah. Oh boy, are you sitting down, sir? What? What? Are you sitting down? Just tell me, are you sitting down? What do you need? I have I have the worst news, and I'm so sorry that I have to tell you over the phone. I'm what? So, sir, don't don't yell at me. I'm I'm nervous enough as it is, and I'm having a hard time getting this out without crying. What? A- Aunt Aunt Stuman died. What? Aunt Aunt Stuman. Aunt Stuman, she's dead. I don't have an Aunt Stevens. Oh wait. Oh, I th- I thought this was I I thought I was calling Uncle Doug. No. Oh shoot. Is this someone in the hotel? Cuz I'm here at the front yes. desk. Yes. Okay. Well, look. Aunt Aunt Stuman, she was only 86 years old. And can you believe it? <laughs> can you believe she's gone? 86. Put down at such a young age. Her body was literally ripped in two, Gordo says. Uh, that was uh, Craig's mom's bush. Let me ask if he's sitting down. Hello? Hey there, uh, this is Steve Dave from the front desk. Yeah. Are, are you doing okay, sir? Were you sleeping? Yeah. Okay, well, I'm sorry to be calling so late. I'm going to need you to move everything in your room to the exact center. If you could just, um, you know, like suitcases, any toiletries, uh, you know, backpacks, just bring it all to the center of the room. Don't have any, don't have anything touching the walls. Why? Uh, it's just a thing we have to do, uh, that we shouldn't have given you this room tonight. It's a weird seismic thing. We have to do this. Just get everything as close to the just that, that one corner of the bed that looks like kind of like more like the middle of the room. Just get every, get everything bunched up around the beds, on the bed if possible. <laughs> Is this a joke? Oh no, I wouldn't kid about this, sir. Just please, if you could do that real quick. Getting some good hang-ups tonight, some good loud hang-ups. Uh, whose idea was that? Oh yeah, uh, Alf Crisper, thanks for that one. That extension is not valid, please try again. Okay, made it to the end. Uh, Mr. Penis is asking for a front desk final boss. Okay. I want to talk to Carol though. You may press zero to reach a hotel staff member. You are being transferred to the operator. Because I already talked to him. Thank you for calling the town place with Mamaria. Wait, this is Tyler. How can I help you? Hey, Tyler. Uh, I'm a guest Hi. here. I, I just got a phone. I'm, I'm a guest here. I just got a phone call from the front desk. And um, I don't. Re- Joe, what's your room number, ma'am? I'm, I definitely don't remember calling you. Okay, well, I don't know. It was a pretty weird call. I'm a little uncomfortable talking about it. But I, I didn't um, know what the caller said. And I'm in the electrical room. So am I? I'm just supposed to. I'm supposed to flip all these switches. 
Wait, 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 hang on, hang on. You're in the electrical room? Yeah, hold on. I'm going to flip these switches. No, 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 no. Hang on. Don't do anything. Don't do anything. Oh, how come? Because you're in the electrical room and you're not supposed to be in there. I didn't call you or do anything like that. Oh, well, I, I just, um, hold on. Let me do this. Wait, did I get them right? Oh, there we go. Yeah. I'm flipping the switches. What are you doing? I'm, I'm flipping the switches like the guy in the phone said to. No, no, you stop what you're doing right now. I'm coming up there. No, don't go, sir. I've got switches to flip. Flip it them. Flip, flip it them all. Oh, sir? Are you still there? I mean, I, I hope a buzzer doesn't go off while I'm doing this. Hello? Hello? Did he leave the phone at the desk? Or is the phone with him? You know, we're going to have to, like, wait here for a minute. For him to come back. Just so we can be like, tee -hee. Come on, Tyler, you're the worst. Get back on the phone. What is he doing? He's, he's like slowly, slowly going through the electrical room with the lantern. <laughs> like, hello? It's like a horror movie. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Mr. Pinnis says he's just sitting there frozen in fear. Do, 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 do. I can see him in the elevator now. Just hanging out on top of the elevator. That's all. This is the best part of the show. Hello? He didn't seem uh, weirded out, you know, about other calls. So maybe nobody's been doing anything tonight. Nobody's <laughs> come down to the front desk. That one guy, he went into that lady's room. He's probably sleeping in there now. I have to knock on some doors. What if Tyler had a heart attack? Come back, Tyler. Whoa. Hello, Tyler? Hello? I heard a noise. Tyler? Tyler, Tyler, Tyler. Tyler, Tyler, Tyler. Tyler! How can he be gone this long? It's been seven minutes. Twenty seconds. Come on, Tyler. You're using up all my time. Should I give up? Oh, shit. Someone's at the door. Tyler, it's for you. Oh, shit. Tyler, is that you breathing? I can hear you breathing. Tyler, please stand by. I'm going to call another hotel. Whoa. Oh, he was listening. That son of a bitch. He was there at least part of the time. I think I'm calling up that hotel where the lady transferred me to a bunch of stuff uh, manually, you know, like she did every single room. I think. And just hung up on me. Let's try again. Well, I'm going to call Tyler's Hotel again, and I want to see if uh, I can get some more rooms to pick up, I guess. Hello? Hello, sir. 
This is, yes. this is Tyler down at the front desk. Yes. And look, I'm just going to be direct with you. I'm just going to say it like it is. You need to stop opening and closing your curtains like that. That's weird. I don't know if you're trying to signal somebody or something. I don't know. Is that Morse code? I don't know. But you need to cut it out. This must be a joke or... Oh, it's not a joke. Sir, people are trying to sleep around here, and you're up there, like, just fucking with your curtains constantly. Like, opening them and closing them. Can, Which can you, room are you talking about? I, you're you're in uh, 209. No, I'm not in that room. Oh, yes, you... Well, which one are you in, then? I'm not talking about which room, man, because this is 2 in the morning, and I don't even know who you oh, are. Oh, yeah, I was going backwards. You're in 208. You're in 208. See? I got it right that time. Sir, you need to knock it off with those curtains, please. I don't even know what you're talking about. You, you keep messing with the curtains. Stop getting up and messing with those curtains. You're, you're like opening them and closing them really, really fast in uh, weird sequences. And we think you're up to something. You're like signaling somebody. That's a little weird. So please don't do that, okay? So those curtains, that's like for adults. That's not my room. Le- leave the cur- No, you're in 208. 208, messing with your curtains. Quit messing with your curtains, 208. I'm tired of it. Oh, he did a proper hang up. That's too bad. Um. Is this the front desk? Yes, sir. Oh, hello. Um, I just need to be transferred to a room. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, which room has someone staying in it? I need I need a room that's occupied. Uh, do you know the name of the customer? No, no, I don't know any of that. I'm in technical support. We're testing the phones. I just need to be transferred to a room that has a person in it. Okay. Don't worry, it won't ring. Huh? It won't ring in there. Actually, you know, we've got it. We've, we've got them all. We got it all worked okay. out. This room. Let me connect to your room. Okay. Which room is it going to be? Which room? I'm then? just connecting to the room. It's on second floor. Oh, which one? Two thirty. Two three zero. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. If that works, whatever. That's some great hold music. <laughs> what happened? What happened? They didn't pick up? No. Oh, shoot. Um, what's the next one, then? Two thirty-one. Uh, is that? Is there someone staying in that one? Yeah. Well, I'll be coming around the mountain when I come. Go ahead and dial that up. Will you come to the front desk? Oh, no, I'm in tech support with oh, okay. corporate office, corporate, corporate oh. manager Monday. Okay, let me try it again. Thank you. Oh, no, uh, maybe a different uh, room number. Okay, uh, maybe yeah. they just couldn't figure it out. They probably just thought they were having a night- nightmare. You know? Oh, here we go again. Which one is this going to be, though? I can't believe this song plays for them, them every day. Everyone making a call has to hear this. All right, uh, I give up. We're going to try the last one that I have to relax in. Please dial the three-digit room number of the party you wish to speak Hell with. Hell yeah, I will. 
You are being transferred to a guest. Is that it? Is that everything I'm doing tonight? That might be everything I'm doing tonight, everybody. I'm sorry. It's been two hours, though, right? I think. I can't tell. It says eight hours and 19 minutes for me. Ah, shoot. You're right, Mr. Pennis. Nobody's room was upside down. That's a problem. Hello, sir. This is this is Tyler from the front desk. Is there, everything okay in there? Yeah. Why? Okay. Uh, your room. It's upside down. I'm very oh. sorry about this. Like uh, we didn't expect this to happen, but your room is upside down. Okay. Whatever. And uh, sir, don't whatever me. I'm trying to call and let you know about the problem. Yeah, my room's upside down. It is upside down. Have you looked around? Uh-huh. Yeah. Like, you can't tell because you're upside down, too. Okay. Thanks, Tyler. What's what's all that, uh, what's all that racket in the background? What was that? Sound like he's on a weird phone call or something. I did it, Mr. Penis. We did a room is upside down call. It didn't go that well. And I think that's it. I think I'm going to get out of here. I'm getting out of here, everybody. No more calls. Hey, Brad. This is Josh from Florida. Hey, I had an idea. I was listening hey. to the Wi-Fi calls. Re- I was also thinking about uh, Netflix, the recent changes with Netflix, how they are now requiring um, you know, you to not share your your stuff with people, and they can tell like if someone is in another town, you know, that whole thing. Yeah. Anyway, people... Wow, what the hell? Every time I say anything, his voice cuts out. People. Oh, okay. That's just a coincidence. Word and saying, you know, something like, well, since we live right next to each other, I don't think Netflix would notice uh, since we live so close. That yeah, we're sharing that's a really long idea on the not an idea line. By the way, I deleted somebody's voicemail from here, I think yesterday, by accident. I thought I was on the prank line voicemail. And I see this guy leaving a voicemail about how cool PLA is. I'm like, God damn it, you fucking noob, leaving this shit on the prank line voicemail. And I deleted it. And then I'm like, oh, wait a minute. This is the regular voicemail. Oops. And there's no way to get those back. There's no trash on Google Voice. There's an archive. But I'm just in the habit of right-clicking and deleting instead of right-clicking and archiving. So if that was you, I'm sorry, but there's no way for you to know that that was you. Because there's lots of voicemails I don't play. Hey, Brad, it's Obsolescence. Uh, this is actually my first time calling into the show. Hey. Uh, I found the PLA YouTube channel probably back in 07 or 08, and I would have been in middle school at the time. Uh, yeah. You guys inspired me to terrorize my local AM station swap shop, make fraudulent Craigslist posting, Yay. And all kinds of good stuff like that. But, uh, you know, I'm all You got up. there just as the YouTube channel was taken off. That's all there was back there was bothering the AM station and Craigslist calls. Now, I got a good job. I just closed my first home. Aww. I'm not a hobo. I listen to Snowplow Show every day. And you're a well-rounded individual all because of me and my show. Um, I figured it was time. You know, I'd pay you back a little bit. Throw you a few bones for being a father Aww. figure all this time. Thank you. Uh, any other long-time lur- lurkers, I uh, encourage you to do the same. So, yes, uh, please. Thanks, Brad. Bye. Love you. Bye. Thanks for the voicemail. Hey, Brad. Uh, not the real Rusty Shackleford here. Okay. Um, so, East Tennessee's getting a new area code, 729. Holy uh, shit. I don't know. Maybe you can do something with that. Maybe not. Probably not. Either way, love you, Brad. But what I do? I could call up people that have business cards that have to switch over to the new area code and be like, ah, you have to change the phone number on your trucks, on your cards, on your advertisements with all your customers, and it's real. It's not just me fucking with you. Brad, this is Mano Wamba. Hey. Um, okay, second time I'm telling you this idea. Please don't ignore me this time. Uh, Tell people you're changing their name. I'm going to put a new voicemail message up that says take all your ideas and shove them up your ass, everybody. Their name. Not their phone number, their name. Either spelling, because of course they didn't spell it right. There's a typo. Or change your name completely. All yeah. right. I love that idea. I'm going to say, hey, this is Verizon. You spelled your name wrong. You're also pronouncing it wrong on your account. So we switched that too. 
We've contacted the DMV. They're on our side. They're changing it, too. Your new driver's license will be in the mail soon. Hey, Brad, it's me, Tobias Brooks. I'm calling from Wisconsin in Pinbine. Hello. Also, I'm going to court today, so hopefully it all works out. I hope so. And stuff, so I don't go to prison. Yeah, prison's and, the worst. And, uh, sorry I said that you need to make a Dr. Phil soundboard thing. It was kind of messed up that I said that. I was yeah. just trying to be funny. I'm just grouchy on the voicemails. I don't know why. We're, we finished our yard sale. It was kind of fun. But That's now we got to nice. clean up all the junk. Oh, no. That he wants to get rid of since people didn't buy a lot of stuff. Just dump it all out in front of Goodwill. <laughs> Throw in their parking lot. That's what I'd do. You, know, you should do more with uh, Carlito soundboard. So oh, what? Where you get the car crash, but you gotta combine it with like, like yard sales. Like, say you're coming yeah. down the, side of the road. And then, holy shit. The the car crash. Or... My car is airborne. It's about to land on your house. Oh, no. With the uh, most controversial trick that you have these days, you're off probation. You know, what, what's, what trick can you use? To social engineer everybody uh, or something. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I still know how to call up utility companies and get names off of addresses and addresses off of names and I don't know. All the tricks still work. All of them. Hey, Brad. This is New Orleans calling for the first time in a while. I've been listening. I haven't donated. Don't worry. You're in there. Okay. I was going to say how crazy it is. You're still going strong. I know people are complaining about you not posting enough, but yeah. I've been listening. So I wouldn't say I'm going strong, but, you know, I'm still going. I was 16, and this fall, I'm going to start my PhD. Wow. Isn't that crazy? I'm such a loser. Two of those in a row. Well, not in a row, but two people that have been here since their teenage years. And now they're a big fancy PhD people. I'm a phone loser, in fact. Anyway, great shit. Love you, Brad. Keep up with it. Thanks. Thanks. Bye. Hello, hello. Just calling to say that I'm a listener, Brad. Okay. And I love everything you do. You don't have to say it so accusingly like... On the phone. Thanks. Okay, bye. And I'll be listening. Fucking weirdo. Hey, Brad, it's Oprah from Texas. Hey, hey, man, I wanted to say, if you're complaining about Brad taking forever, this is everybody in the book. I didn't complain. Who said I complained? So if, you're taking, if you're mad that he's taking forever, you can subscribe, become a hobo, and then also go to Prankcast and listen to everybody else. There's so many people to listen to. Yeah, no shit. Get on there and listen to Devin Anus Tart and, yeah, uh, you know, right. Dog Latucci and all these other fellas. You know, it's great. There's lots to listen to. I bet you this is Dog Latucci calling in, just trying to get people to listen to his show. We'll get on to Brad. Love you, Brad. And I wanted to say hi to Nobby Guy. Glad you're feeling better. Bye. Thanks. Completely anonymous person. Hey, Brad. What? Mr. Lonely Goat. I just signed up on Patreon, but I've been listening to you for Hello. the past eight months. Only question I have, there was a song made about winking your butthole. I can't find it. I need oh, help. Oh, no. I need it. Crap. Okay, love you, bye. How am I going to find that? I don't know. Here's one I just found. It's by Dylan. Hello, Mel. Speaking. Hey, Mel. 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 Um, we've had some complaints that you keep walking around there, like, winking your butthole. Hole, hole. Is this it? Am I playing it? We kind of discourage. 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 I'm sorry, can you please repeat that? You know, I think there was a few of these. When you're there with your dog, you've been winking your butthole, hole, 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 hole. This is a scam. What are you doing? You don't have to pretend you didn't do it. Just please stop doing it. That's all. You have the right person. I have been winking my butthole. Winking my butthole. Winking my butthole. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'd like to see you. Winking my butthole. Winking my butthole. This is the one I thought it was. Winking my butthole. Don't wink your butthole at my face. Winking my butthole. Winking my butthole. Winking my butthole. Oh, yeah, I'd like to see you. Winking my butthole. Winking my butthole. Winking my butthole. Don't wink your butthole at my face. Please don't wink your butthole at people. Stop doing it. That's all. Hell, 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 hell. Ow, ow. Please stop doing it. Ow, ow. Please stop doing it. Ow, ow. Please stop doing it. Ow, ow. Ow, ow. Ow, ow. Please stop doing it. Okay. Please stop doing it. Okay. Last time I was there was when I winked my butthole. 
please stop doing it. Okay, I will stop. That's good to hear. It's been great talking to you. I'm going to go masturbate. There you go. That was the Butthole Winking Remix by Dylan. Do I have to send you this file or, or what do I have to do? I played it with me talking all over. That's good enough, right? Yeah, that's probably good enough. Okay, last voicemail. Hi, Brad. This is AIDS Are Free. Can I interest you in some free AIDS? Also, I was just listening Please. to episode 807, and I just wanted to say that uh, as an engineer, I can confirm that Vaseline will not conduct the electricity. Oh. We we'll use a similar compound for uh, boring shit at work, but uh, yeah, you should be good. Let's see you flip breakers in hotel rooms with covered in Vaseline. Okay. All right. Uh, cactus, cactus. Good to know. <laughs> So listen, everybody, if you ever need to shut off some breaker switches in your house and you don't have rubber soled shoes, just slather a bunch of Vaseline all over your feet and you should be fine. It should work. You probably won't die. All right. Thank you to the sponsors of today's show. Mr. Lonely Goat, the Prime Minister of Australia, Lord and Lady of Veggies, Woozy and Cactus Mike. All of them are going to hear a secret hobo sode in a day or two, but you're not because you're not supporting the show over at patreon.com slash phone losers you big dummy here's a song from dj boo that i kind of forgot about i haven't really heard this since the phone show days and i know i used to play this on my old pla radio podcast every once in a while but this is a good one good old dj boo what happened to him through the switches and into your cubicle across the pbx and into your server i know every corporate security game Get in, I social engineer my way. Forwarding traffic from every machine. This black hat's got his eyes on everything. Voicemails pop three, SSL Apache, passwords, keys, and a fake photo ID. Taking down your firewall brick by brick. Incoming, outgoing, sniff, sniff, sniff. My focus on your LAN is gonna make my day. Your misconfigured SQL server's gonna be my slave. It's a black hat life to live in every day. It's a black hat life in which we Given to me, my social engineer skills are pretty freaking neat. I got a little bit, I learn everything I know from my friends on IRC and PLA radio. Credentials are a given, and they're given to me. When I saw your password, I thought that shit was funny. I got to admit, before I run these commands, it feels so good to have this power in my hands. Sex offender.